Dylan Nealis starts it right back for an under the weather Kyle Duncan. Cameron Harper returns in an attacking role. The big story here, no Lewis Morgan for the Red Bulls tonight. Injured, it's a hip flexor strain sustained seven nights ago. Visiting Columbus was getting healthier, but the big story emerging in the last hour, the team taking no chances. It will hold back Cucho Hernandez, their star striker, who will not change tonight. A career high. Red Bull seeking their first victory of the season. Columbus at second and underway on what's become a cool night at Red Bull Arena. One back by the Red Bulls and Dylan Nealis making a start at right back tonight. Red Bulls take this into the 18. This ball floats harmlessly wide. That had more hope. There's been no real long balls at the moment. They're trying to play through this press. They have to be very, very careful. Ball won by Caceres, taken by Burke. From distance, gives it a go. Burke. Edge of the 18, whips this ball across, takes a deflection, falls for Caceres, saved by Room. The follow-up by Amaya is wide. Really good defending. The first bit of defending is from Sands at the far post here. He stops the initial shot and then the save. The strike from Caceres, but then the save from Room. It's brilliant play all round from both teams, attacking-wise from Red Bulls. Toronto with a better team in the first half. The second half... This is settled by Matab with Coronel out of his goal. And just like that, the crew have a 1-0 lead on the road. Alex Matan with Coronel caught in no man's land. In this scenario, they get the ball, Columbus, they play the ball forward, and it's a lovely run from Matan. But you see Reyes, he's got everything under control. Yes, it's a poor touch, but if Coronel is on his line, that doesn't happen. You see the first touch here from, from Reyes. It just comes off his foot, it goes back to Matan. But there's no problem if Coronel's on his line. He's not, he's come out on the road. Three of the first four weeks can put themselves in very good position. Going home to lower Gotcom field next week. Lukinyas pushed and a foul. Quick restart, it's played ahead, but Tim Ford's not gonna let that go. Manuel's loan from Brazilian side Gremio became a permanent transfer to the New York Red Bulls in January. All wrong was get control in the middle. We saw more of Nagby and Morris. Celerayad with a ball that gets through. Opportunity for the crew and a save made. Caceres plays ahead. Elias Manuel. Quinton backtracking. Manuel into the waiting arms of Eloy Room. Burke sees it won by Nagby. And the old pro does well to hold off a couple of Red Bulls. Yellow card out of the pocket of Ford. And I Second of the half for this Red Bull side. Whips this ball in. Reyes in the mixer takes a deflection out. Goal kick for the crew. Burke wins that ball from Quinton. Corey Burke has options. Burke, top of the 18, trying to put that pass room. The rebound is in. And finally, Luquinhas breaks the ice. The Red Bulls tie the game. Plays really advanced. This is a prime example of it. You can see he's trying to get his defenders to help him out. Burke does wonderfully well, he drags the other centre-backs in, but then that leaves the space then for Luquinhos to take full advantage. But this is the problem, if you lose the ball in your own half, Quinton loses the ball, Marrera's out of position, they all get dragged all over the place, and that leaves the Red Bulls. Now you've got Russell Rowe, you've got someone that will stretch the game, look to get in behind. I just wonder whether Columbus may go a little bit longer at times now. First time he's had a true striker in the game tonight. Shaken up. Christian Caceres Jr. It's Cameron Harper who comes out of the match, and here is Van Zier for the Red Bulls in a tie game. A tremendous set piece taker, Zellerion. This is from a pretty robust distance. Let's see how they play it. Goes for goal. Caceres. 
perfectly placed. Tolkien able to play this across. Shot by Van Zier. Took it out of midair, and the Red Bulls have the lead. His first MLS goal. It is a huge one for the home side. Really well, Red Bulls. They've used the width of the pitch so much better in this second half, and Van Zier. It's a lovely finish because he has so much time to think about it while it's up in the air. Just wondering, Tolkien, not really see from that angle, does he start in an offside position? But take nothing away from the finish from Van Zier. Makes it look a lot easier than what it actually is. And the goal stands, but it's great play from Red Bulls. Amaya with the intercept. Tracked by Morris, gives it a go off the left foot, over the bar, and the crew get to work looking for the equalizer. Of the matchup last season in this stadium between the teams. Van Zier back the other way, pulls it back, plays it across. Fernandez works it off the post. What you're seeing now, there's a greater strength in depth for this Red Bulls team, and that's a prime example of it. It's Van Zier, he plays the ball to Fernandez, comes off the inside of the... They've got players, they've got greater strength in depth, so therefore players can come on and keep that energy flowing. Farsi to play this across, Zellerion fires, parried away by Cornell. And one of the things that we saw last week, a lot of the corners didn't beat the first one. If they can do that, then they'll get a chance. Zellerion gets some air under this, over the head of the six-foot-six Quinton. Now Madronda from outside the box. Played in by Nealis. Taken here, Omir Fernandez for the Red Bulls. Dancing by Degenek, works it across. Here's Van Zier looking for a second, poked off his foot. Red Bulls see that out, and that is all.